The timing of auto transplant is uh, an important issue because obviously uh, when we look into the randomized uh, trial uh, and given the absence of significant difference in terms of overall survival, because the difference is mainly about progression-free survival, one may think that actually delaying transplant for a later stage can be an appropriate uh, measure. However, this is true on paper. I'm not convinced that from a practical point of view this is valid. And this is for several reasons actually. Patient can become older and become non-eligible to transplant. They may develop some comorbidities which makes them non-eligible to transplant. And also, uh, when we look actually into the randomized trial, for instance, in the determination trial, roughly only 30% of the patient were able to make it uh, into a delayed transplant. So you can see there is a gap between the theoretical scenario and the real life scenario. And I believe this is even more important, I think, when it comes to the high risk uh, cytogenetic population uh, because uh, transplant and high dose melphalan used as high-dose chemotherapy uh, remain a pillar of the management of these high-risk cytogenetics patients. Because when we look carefully again into the determination trial, because this is the most recent uh, uh, trial we have in this field, actually the high-risk cytogenetic group outside transplant, so this is a non-transplant arm, actually in my opinion is not really doing great without transplant. Uh, and this is why it is crucial in this group of patients really to think of transplant and the timing is crucial. Delaying transplant in this population may not be the ideal treatment approach.